Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with the Morning Market Stir for Monday, January the 30th. What a week it was. New record highs across the board. Strength, the NDX led the way up 2%, now up 6.5% so far on the month of January, I guess year to date, so that's quite a start. SPX was up 1% last week, and the Dow 1% as well, after finally breaking that 20K that we needed to get done. Gold was off, down $18, below the $1,200 an ounce level, closed at 1190, down, down 18 on the week, so it's seen a downturn uh, after that recent rally run. Crude oil was steady at $53 a barrel, going nowhere fast, stuck within this tight range. Uh, lastly, the euro and the dollar index were steady as well as the week tries to sort out this interesting action with a new administration. So after this record week in stocks, where do we stand here uh, in uh, Monday morning to start the trading day? Well, we're off a bit. Uh, we're down here 18 points in the E-mini S&P. Now let's remember the S&P hasn't had a 1% sell-off in more than 70 some sessions. No unwinding on this up, up and away straight up move. The NDX is down 50, Dow, Dow right now is down about 145, 150 as the stock market is in focus on this heavy round of profit taking. Looking at other markets, gold right now is up $4, a modest bounce as we're seeing an increase in volatility. Speaking of volatility, the VIX right now is at 12.30, above that $12 old support level, up $1.75, so a big, big bounce there. The dollar index has firmed, holding above 100, is up about half a percent this morning, and we're seeing crude oil right now sell off some. I uh, was hanging around the 53 level right now at 52.75, down 50 cents. Now crude oil has been trading in a range, a tighter range between 51.75 and 53.50 here for more than 10 sessions. Had a little bit of a move last week, but back inside that channel once again. So to summarize where we stand as the stock market's getting started, unwinding some profit taking, down 18 right now in the S&P, down 50 in the NDX, and down 145 in the Dow futures, so more than a half percent loss across the board. But let's look at earnings, because that's the focus. One third of S&P companies have reported coming into today, 65% have uh, beat their EPS mean, uh, so earnings are coming in hot and heavy, and we're looking for a 4% earnings growth for this quarter, which will be the first back-to-back -back quarters that we've seen since 2014. Alan Uckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.